Hi guys, good night and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, my name is Marcel Palma and as you may know, I have always been doing uh, technology tutorial to assist you in whatever productivity area you're involved in. Um, for tonight, what I want to do is to focus on the use of Google Drive in particular um, for students and teachers. I know that um, in this era or in this time or pandemic time, um, that at some point you would want to be sharing files with your students and also as a, as a student you might want to be sh um, sharing some files with your other colleagues or with your teacher right so um, what I want to show you guys is how to utilize a free tool um, called Google Drive which can be used to share um, data or share files with others so let's jump into it one of the first thing we want to do is to get your um, Gmail logged in. So if you don't have a Gmail account as yet, um, Gmail is free. So see if you can get a Gmail created so that you can utilize the Google Share Drive, right? So once you're logged into your Google account, we want to go here to the Google Ops and we want to choose Drive. So Google Ops followed by Drive. All right, so this is what um, Google uses to, it allows, allows you space in order for you to share files. And as you can see, I just created this email account. It is empty, and so I don't have anything stored in my Google Drive. So remember the idea is that you want to be able to take some files, and, and this is from a teacher's perspective, you want to be able to take some files and share it with your students, right? So say, for example, I am conducting a class in science or in language arts or mathematics, and I want to be able to share some resources with all my students from my class. I can, what I can do is to create a folder here in Google Drive, dump some material in there that I want to share, and then send out an email or send out a link that can be used to share that material with, with my students and this gives them a chance to be able to view and edit the material itself so let me show you the process and feel free to follow along remember that um, if there is an area that you're not sure or that's giving you issues you can always pause the video right and rewind and go back to the segment that you may have missed right and also um, feel free to Leave some comments below or questions below that you might have. So we are in Google Drive, and I want to, and it gives us several options. So I want to be able to share, um, let's say for example, a folder. So I click on New, um, and I can upload a file. I can um, upload an entire folder. I can create a new folder. I can create a Google Docs, I can create a Google Sheet, Google Slide, and of course there is more um, other um, productivity tools that Google offers and that is totally free that you can use. So this also allows you to create all of these that you can go in and you can edit or have um, different people edit um, the content for your familiar Google Drive. So for now, I was telling you that we want to create a folder just so we're organized. So I click on New and then Folder. And I'm going to call this folder, um, let's call it my assignment folder, right? And then click on create. Now, once you've clicked on create, you'll notice that now within your drive, right? This is my drive. I have a folder called assignment folder. So if I want to put stuff into my assignment folder, I then double click the assignment folder and this says all right you're in the assignment folder now and you can either drop your files here or use the new button to add content to the folder. I have a tendency of like um, of dropping files in and I'll show you both um, but let's for now let's go to new and so because we're inside the folder let's click on new and we want to upload a file. So. I have a list of files here. Let me go up here. I have some files that I wanted to use for you guys. So let's say I want to send you a copy of my logo. 
So again, I locate my file, I select logo and open. And what that does is that it is uploading the file to the folder itself. So now this file is found within the assignment folder. Let me go again. We want to add in a new file. And this time I'll do it using the drop and drag process, right? So I'll open my folder. I'm going to look for my folder where I have my files that I want to share with my students. And say, for example, I want to share this sample assignment file. I will click on it and hold it down and drag it over to my browser and then bring it into the browser, into the assignment folder. And it does the same thing. So you're able to quickly uh, share your file either by dragging and dropping that file into the particular folder or by selecting new and then placing that file um, uh, and then finding the file on your computer and placing that file into the folder on the Google Drive. All right, so now that we have our files shared, I can go back to my drive and you notice that this is my folder. And so I'm saying that I want to be able to share this folder with all of my students. Um, because it's just an assignment folder, it's work that I don't mind sharing with the world. I can also share it as a link for my students as opposed to putting in emails. So let's see that. To share this folder, we can do a right click on the folder itself and then choose share. So right click on the folder and then choose share. So I can share with people or groups. So I can add in people by email address, right? Or I can get a link um, which can be used to share with anyone. So anyone who has the link will be able to view the folder. So let's do that because this is more common for us. So we're saying that as long as you have the link, and you notice where I clicked just now, so I click on the second part. As long as you have this link, you'll be able to access the folder and anyone with the link will be able to be a viewer. So you'll be able to view the file, download the file, print the file. If there's anything from the folder that you want, you can do that, but you won't be able to edit it within the Google Suite, right? I have another option where I can set you as editor, where I can have my students be, be able to edit a single file and leave different traces in it to show that they did the edit. And of course, then um, the, the changes will be seen immediately by me. But for the most part, you simply want them as viewer because you're sharing that resource with your students. So I'll copy this link. And so anyone on the internet with this link can view the file and done. So right now, this file is available. If I wanted to, for example, send this to my students so that they know that um, I am sending them resource, then I would create a new email and then send them an email with that link that I copied. Let me show you that quickly. So I would then go to my email. I would compose a new mail and in my mail, I would send it to, I'm sending it to, let me send it to myself, to play at gmail.com. And if you have other students in your list, you can also send it to them, right? So let's say I want to send it to myself at play.com, right? And your list goes on. So it depends on how many students you're sending this to um, as an email, right? Subject, I'll put this as resources. Resources for the assignment. Right? I'll send I'll send them a short um, display letter saying maybe please find Please find link, not attach. <laughs> Please find link to resources being shared for class this week. And I can then either 
paste the link. I like that, which looks kind of shabby, right? And so the student then will have a chance to click on that link, or they could copy and paste it back into um, a browser and have access to the folder. Or I can say, let me call this my resources. I will select this and choose insert link. And in here is where I would put the URL. So I would paste now, Control and V, to paste the same URL or the same web link that we're using, and then OK. And now this is what your students will see. They'll be able to just read and see something called my resources. And when they click on this, then it will show um, the actual folder to them. And so this is what I would send, and it goes to my students. Now, what they see, and I'll just paste here, they will see whatever that link is sent to, which is the assignment folder that we are sharing. Okay? So that is how you're able to share files quickly using a link. And remember that though the link is available to anyone, anybody with the link can view the file, right? The other option, yeah, the other option then, is to let me create a new folder again. So I'll go ahead and create a new folder. So at this time you can do new and folder, or you can right click and choose new folder. I will call this assignment two, create. And again, you can go ahead and put content into that folder. So, but what I want to show you guys is the share by email address. So we can right click on the folder you want to share again, and, and you can do share. And then you can add people in by group. So let's say I want to share with this guy, mpalma.play.com, right? And I can add in another person in there. So let's say I want to share with this guy also. And the list goes on. And what it does, if I have this check, is that it notifies the person in a new email telling them that um, you, you have received a file that, that, is, that the user wants to share with you. Um, and so then the person would click on the link and a notification might be sent to the person sending it out to give permission to send it. Now where this comes in handy is that this is a little bit more private. So if you're sending material that you don't want, you don't really don't want exposed, um, then you can do it in this way because you're sharing with specific people or if you have your Gmail group already um, in terms of the address book you can send to specific groups so I won't send this and uh, let's cancel it out right and get out of there so that's how essentially you share files using Google Drive now keep in mind that this can be done also from a student perspective so if you're a student and you want to share some files with your fellow colleagues you can run the same process by placing your files in Google Drive placing it in a folder so that it's organized and then share the entire folder you can also share just a file by itself using the same process where you right click on the file and choose to share that file uh, with whosoever you want if you're sending your file to a teacher let's say you're sending your file to a teacher they say um, I want you to submit your assignment but the assignment is a little bit too large to email then this is where you utilize um, Google Drive remember that Google Drive holds I think the free version um, they offer 15 gigabytes of space which is a lot right which is very convenient I have used it for my students and I have my students also send back file for me so process again you open your Google Drive you create a new folder. Inside that new folder, you would place your files that you want to share. Whether it be a movie file, it be an Excel file, it be a Word file, it be a picture file. You place the file inside the folder. You go back to the folder and you can right click and choose share and then place in the email address for the people you want to share it with. You can also send a link by choosing get a um, shareable link and then by copying that link into an email um, so that it will always be there 
for the person to get a shareable link. That way, when you place get shareable link, then your students can also then just forward that email to somebody else who will still have access to the link that you created. So I'm hoping this helps in terms of having you or showing you how to use Google Drive to share large files. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll see if I can address most of them um, if I can. Um, like always, be safe and go geek yourself.